What's going on guys? Sean Oz here. Today I'm going to show you how to recalibrate your compass and your IMU. Would you guys rather me do Would you guys rather me do videos like this all just square and static right to the point? I think it's more fun the other way. But let me know in the comments if you'd rather me like be all square and just not try to make these somewhat entertaining. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna recalibrate my IMU. I took it out for some flights and I still have crazy wacky horizon. Not as bad as my original, but I'd still consider it at least a, if not the Junkin horizon, the buzzed horizon. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you'd think DJI would make this damn thing with a gimbal that worked down the board. Three of these, three of them, and I'm still having issues. If the camera, worked as well as it flew, this would be amazing. And not only is this one having issues with the, the horizon tilt, but either I'm losing my mind or the camera is not focusing properly. Like off in the top uh, left side of the screen in the distance, it seems to, everything seems to be fuzzy. No matter what settings, style settings, plus one, negative one, zero, I put it on. As soon as it moves around a little bit, everything's blurred out. I'm constantly having to try to tap to refocus. We're gonna go ahead and redo the IMU. I'm gonna recalibrate the camera again and then I'm gonna fly it around and see if on 700 it's any better than what it was a few minutes ago. Once you have Troller on, your phone hooked up, and your Mavic on, hit the three dots in the top right, go to the top menu, go under advanced settings, go down to sensors. When you open the sensors, you'll see IMU and compass and you can see calibrate IMU and it brings up this screen and it walks you through it. I don't know why they showed the bubble around the camera because honestly that makes you think that the gimbal lock should be in there but you're not supposed to have the gimbal lock on when your Mavic Pro is on. So hit start, turn it to face how it looks in your screen and wait. Then do it again. and wait, then do it again, and wait, then do it again, and wait, and again, and there we go, restart. So what I wanna do now is turn off my aircraft and I'm gonna go ahead and open up mine completely because I'm gonna go ahead and redo the camera while I'm on this nice level table. So you turn everything back on. And there are the dogs. It never fails, it never fails. So when you have everything back on, then go under gimbal settings and click gimbal auto calibration. So it shows you some tips. You wanna follow those, then say okay, and just wait. And the camera will do this little dance thing. Now, you can also use the Assistant 2 app to calibrate your camera. I'm now at 41%, and the camera's just doing its thing. Just realized I left a little sticker tab on there. Now, I'd like to say that, oh, that's my problem. Maybe that's what's causing the issue. I can't say that, because my first Mavic, I took that off and it had all kinds of drunk, drunk, drunk horizon. I might actually end up removing that sticker on this one anyways, because I did totally forget that it was on there. It sure as heck ain't gonna hurt. 83%. All right, and that is it. So I'm gonna go test flight this and we'll see if it makes a difference. No, 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 it didn't make a difference. I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's how you do your IMU calibration and how you do your gimbal calibration using your phone and the DJ I Go For app. Stay tuned because I'm working on how to use the Assistant 2 on your computer 
to do a gimbal calibration, camera calibration that way. So I'm gonna try that and we're gonna see if that affects anything with the 700 firmware before reverting back to 400, which I don't even know if that's an option anymore because of this whole new thing that's about to happen with the DJI Go 4 and the firmware with the restrictions per where you live. We'll see what happens with that in the next upcoming weeks. I think the whole internet is freaking out about it right now. I'm not sure if it's quite time to freak out or if we're just wearing tinfoil hats. But for today, that helps you with your IMU, that helps you with your gimbal calibration. Hopefully, you can adjust your gimbal roll and that will lock away your horizon and you won't get the movement like I do on my third Mavic Pro. Not every Mavic Pro does this. You might be one of the lucky ones. Click like, subscribe, and that next video should be up in a day or so. Thanks everybody.